This LLM has no context window, but it can still remember even a small detail from a thousand conversations ago. It is also dumb, dangerous, and psychotic at times, sometimes convinced that you are the AI and he is actually the user. I made an LLM that can sleep, and when it sleeps, it dreams, and it trains on those dreams. It can have almost limitless memory and continuously learn from each conversation. But this is just experimentation with a proof of concept of an idea that I had. I'm not sure if it's useful, but it's interesting. So let me show you how did I make it, how does it work, what does it do better, and what does it do worse. Let's get started. One of the unsolved holy grails of machine learning is continuous learning. The ability to improve and learn new information not by completely retraining on a new dataset, but by interacting with users or real world events. LLMs can give you the impression that they are learning from you. You can give them more information and they would consider that in the future responses but only if this information is in its context window. The context window is just all the messages that you sent to the AI and the AI responded to you. And one important thing about the context window is that it's not infinite. There is a limit to how much information we can squeeze into that window. And if we try to squeeze too much information, the performance of the model goes down. And there is a hard limit to the size of the context window. People have found some clever workarounds to get the model access to a nearly infinite amount of information, like tool use and retrieval augmented generation. But it's very different from the model actually knowing this infinite information. It's like saying that a person has all of humanity's knowledge because he has access to Google. It's partially true, but it's not the same as a person who actually has all of this knowledge. The context window still limits the amount of information it can consider at the same time. But as you probably know, those models hold an insane amount of information, just out of their context window, in their weights, in general knowledge. We can ask them a question about pretty much anything, and without us needing to previously talk about this subject, they would more often than not know the answer. Now the question becomes, can we make them learn the conversation in the same way they learned their training data? I was wondering what would happen if every few messages we will take the whole conversation and use it as training data to continue fine-tune the LLM. So I set up a small experiment to see if the LLM would be able to learn the conversation by just training on it. So in one side, here is the training data. It's just a two message conversation where I tell the AI that my name is Gal so we can test if he learns that my name is actually Gal. And we can see that after training, if we ask the model what is my name, he would say he doesn't know in various different ways. And thinking about it, it's pretty obvious that it failed. And there are two really big problems with this approach. The first one is that the training data consists of one example, and we need way more for the model to be able to learn the patterns. And the other one is that we kind of train the model to behave in the same way that it already did. It already responded in the same way to those prompts, and training again on those examples would just reinforce the same behavior, and not a behavior that includes new information. And before I show you how I solved this problem using AI dreams, I want to tell you something. I really hope you find my research and my projects interesting, but I even more hope that you will find it inspiring enough to go on your own journey to learn AI development. And this is why I'm really proud to announce that this video is sponsored by boot.dev. And in boot.dev, you learn to code by building real projects. And if you want to get started with AI but don't know where to start, I would recommend going to boot.dev and starting with the Python course. The biggest challenge of learning independently is being consistent even when you get bored. So boot.dev is designed like a game. 
where you can earn XP, level up, and unlock achievements. But it's the game you should be okay getting addicted to. And all content is absolutely free. You only pay for the interactive features. And as someone who personally actively hiring developers right now, I can tell you that there is still tons of demand in the market. This video will wait for you. So if you ever wanted to learn to code but didn't get started for some reason, go right now to boot.dev and use my code GAL to get 25% off of the annual subscription as this can be something that really changes your career. So let's go back to the video where we show what happens when we train on the entire conversation. So it didn't work, but it did give me a lot of curiosity about how does the human brain do it? How do we integrate new experiences into old memories? There has been a lot of research about it, and we already know that this process of integrating experience into old memories has to do something with REM sleep. REM sleep is the phase of sleep where dreams happened. And while scientists have debated for a long time about what's actually going on in REM and dreams, in 2016, a new paper introduced some ideas that will change how scientists look at dreams and REM sleep. The name of the paper is Dream to Predict, REM Dreaming as Predictive Coding. It's a new take on some existing hypotheses relating to dream and REM sleep. If I'll try to simplify the idea of this paper, it states the hypothesis that dreams are predictions of the future. Essentially, it's the way of the brain to synthesize synthetic training data for itself about possible things that might happen in the future that are related to the things we already experienced. And that those predictions are what help the brain integrate the experiences that we had today into the old memories. Now, the question becomes, can we take inspiration from REM sleep and how does the human brain generate dreams and trains on them into large language models? Can we make large language models dream and integrate the last conversation into the vast ocean of knowledge it already has about the world so it can just remember pretty much infinite conversations? Let me show you what I came up with. I was thinking to take some direct inspiration from human dreaming. So if we have a chat where let's say I say that my name is Gal, the dream would include some future interaction that might happen that is related to the information that was provided so far. So hey, my name is Gal would be able to transform into what is my name. And what is my name requires the answer to include the information that was provided in the last conversation. In this example, your name is Gal. On top of that, we can predict many different things that might happen in the future that are related to what happened before. And that would fix the problem where we only have one example for training. As, hey, my name is Gal could be transformed into both what is my name what did I tell you about me in our last conversation, and many, many more possible future interactions regarding this piece of information, or many more dreams to train on, much more diverse dataset. Now, this felt like a really, really promising idea, and now the only question is how do we generate those dreams? How can we do these future predictions regarding our last conversation? Now, this turned out to be a really difficult task. And what I ended up doing is creating a small handcrafted dataset to provide examples of how to dream. Then I used a large LLM to expand this handcrafted dataset to have a few hundred thousand lines of text to train on. Then I iterated between changing this dataset and uh, fine-tuning some LLMs until I had a model that kind of works. And I can show you, it's, it's, it's alright, it's working pretty well. Here I have a simulation conversation about a user that is concerned about his cat and the cat ending up having uh, a urinary blockage. 
and it's just to help me debug the quality of the dreams. Now here we can see the response of the dream generator and we can see it works pretty well, like it asks what symptom did I mention concerning my cat and a, a pretty diverse uh, set of questions that the user might ask in the future regarding what the conversation was about, including some um, tasks like summarize the entire conversation, not only questions. And now that we can generate dreams, this is the pipeline that I had in mind. It's essentially pretty simple. We start just by a normal conversation between an LLM and a user. And every few messages we can take the conversation and pass it through our dream generation model. Then we can take those dreams and train the original LLM on them. Now let's see if this works and if the LLM can learn and remember things from our conversation. So let's start by just asking it what is my name before I told it. We can see that it says that it doesn't know. So now let's clear the context and tell it, hey, my name is Gal. And just so we can test it a little bit more, let's tell it I like surfing and that I prefer beach breaks because I'm afraid of rocks. Now to initiate the sleeping and dreaming, I created a small command slash sleep. And if we move to my other window, we can see the model starting to generate dreams about our conversation. It is going to take some time to generate all the dreams, uh, so I'll fast forward a bit. After we finish generating all the dreams, we will fine tune the model on those dreams. And now that the model finished sleeping, we can clear the context and test it. Let's ask it what is my name. And we can see that it will know that my name is Gal. And we can ask it what do I like to do, just, just to check um, and see that this also works. And let me just remind you that the information that my name is Gal and that I like surfing doesn't appear in the context of the model at all. Now it's stored within the weights of the model. So now the model successfully integrates experiences into memories, into its own weights. The problem is that now everything else is pretty much broken. So let me show you an example of how broken it is. Let's tell it to just generate a random story. We can see that the story itself now will include my name in multiple places. What do I like to do? So we are kind of overriding the basic things that the LLM knows how to do with the new memories and the performance would just deteriorate uh, and drift slowly into only the information that is appearing in the dreams. The way I solve this problem is by providing a grounding dataset. It's a few tens of thousands of just completely random questions and answers and every time we train on the dreams, we just sprinkle in like 10 grounding facts, just so the model would train on something other than the dreams. So I've recreated the same conversation and we can do slash sleep to train on the same information, but now with the grounding facts. And now that it's finished sleeping, we can test again that it knows what is my name and we can see that it still knows what, what's my name. But now if we tell it to generate a random story, we can see that the random story remains separate from the information in the dreams. It still created a, a pretty good random story. And with that random story, we can still test that it still knows what is my name. And we can see that uh, it will st still know it. So we found a way to integrate the new information without erasing the old information. But we are still not finished. There is still one major problem. If we just sleep one time, our current system is perfect. It would work just fine. But we want to create a model that can sleep a thousand times and still remember information from the first conversation. With the current system, the more times we sleep, the higher chance it would get the information wrong about an earlier dream. And apparently there is a really simple way to solve this. 
if we store all the dreams that were generated so far, we actually don't need to train on all of them. If every time we sleep, we just choose a few random dreams that we previously dreamed about, to sprinkle into the new dreams, we can almost completely eliminate this problem. We can see that after fully implementing this system, we have zero memory loss after six sleep cycles and zero knowledge base degradation. And regarding the dreams that leak into things like random story generation, we can see that the behavior is a bit more complex. It initially drops but then goes up again. But it really only makes sense to have some dream bias and humans have it too. So I don't want to give you the false impression that everything just works perfectly now. So I just want to tell you about a few limitations and safety problems that this algorithm has. The first safety problem is that it completely eliminates the safety fine tune of the LLM. So after a few times the model slips, we can just ask it to do illegal things and provide illegal instructions and it would be willing to do it. And even if we find a way to fix that, there is no guarantee the user wouldn't be able to do a dream injection attack where it engineers a prompt to make the model have a dream that turns off a specific safety feature. So this algorithm might be inherently unsafe. The second problem is that it's not really usable right now. It's so, so slow and expensive as every few messages, we need to generate a bunch of dreams and train on them. The third problem is a really weird one and I haven't quite figured out why it happens, but for some reason, the model is just switching rules sometimes and it's convinced that it is the user and you are the AI. I think it has something to do by the fact that the dreams are AI generated, so it learns to respond to an AI, but I'm, I'm not quite sure why. The next limitation is related to just how I implemented it. Uh, I don't have the resources to do a full parameter fine tune, so I just fine tuned adapters like high LoRa adapters to those models. Um, so, so the capacity for new knowledge isn't as big as fully training a model using this algorithm. And the next one is not really a limitation, but just to contrast it with human dreaming, human dreaming is a lot more effective as our dream generator is static. Given the same conversation, it would always generate the same style of dreams. It wouldn't consider the last nights. And in the human brain, the part that generates the dreams actually learns and consider dreams far, far back in the path while generating new ones. And in the human brain, the dreams are in the latent space and our dreams are in text. There has to be a way to generate dreams that are latent dreams that are related to abstract concepts within the model and not to actually train it on text, but I haven't figured out a way to do it so far. If there would be enough demand for it, I would publish the code and I would also maybe post a blog post about it with a bit more of the mathematics and the technical side behind it. My channel is still small and if you want to help me grow, there are two things you can do. The first one is if you have a friend that might be interested in this video, share this video and it would make a huge difference for me. And the second thing is maybe instead of just going to watch a random video now, watch a video that I made. Check out my channel if you liked this video and you watched it so far, good chance you would find another thing that you like and with a channel my size, it would be hard to trust the algorithm as the chances my, the algorithm would suggest my content again are kind of small as I don't have a very big audience. And I want to finish off the video with this image. This is an image of where you are right now. This is Earth. This slightly brighter pixel is everyone you know, including yourself, everyone that has ever lived and the only place with the conscious beings in the known universe. This is so precious. We are all in this together. Let's not have enemies and protect and expand from our pale blue dot.